ratings are on, all across the game here, and welcome to my brand new video. This time, I would like to discuss something, but before we start, uh, I'm going to show you what it is. Alright, did you see that? Now, you're probably wondering what's my opinion on it. Well, one thing I can say for starters is that we'll come all circle around because rabbits initially came uh, as uh, characters from a Rayman spin off game, but then they evolved into their own franchise, and now Rayman is being introduced back as a character in their own franchise. So we come all the circle. And now, I'm actually, I'm not really that much excited about it. I, I'm sorry if, if you are, but uh, I just can't because um, this ain't what I wanted. Like, I, I waited since uh, uh, Rayman Legends for a, a true Rayman game. I'm not counting mobile spin-offs because, well, they're fine. Uh, they're not the main experience. So, almost 10 years I have waited for a true Rayman game and now I'm being served... This? A DLC for unrelated uh, rabbits game? Come on, this, this ain't what I want. Uh, and uh, before some say, like, oh, you should be grateful, and, and no, I, I have a my right to my opinion, and uh, I'm just not excited for this project. Like, uh, I don't uh, hate the idea of Raymond being in this game, but... But this being the first announcement uh, uh, after almost 10 years of, uh, of no Rayman game, uh, this just ain't uh, right introduction in my opinion, because let's do a little comparison about uh, how it was for Crash. Now, if you remember correctly, on E3 2016, uh, they have uh, announced uh, uh, at the same time that Crash will be a playable character in Skylanders Imaginators, but they also teased that uh, Crash will be getting uh, uh, HD remakes. So, at the same time, we knew that Crash is truly back. But I have a feeling that this, uh, uh, with the Rayman being a DLC, that this is just uh, a Ubisoft... Uh, checking how many people are gonna buy this DLC, which ain't still gonna be a good, uh, uh, like, uh, way to check, because uh, a lot of people are going to maybe go and, uh, like, buy a season pass or whatnot, so that they automatically get all of the upcoming uh, DLC, which won't be because they maybe specifically like Rayman, but just because they want to complete the game, because... Uh, 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 a lot of people just want to have everything complete, like they, they hate the idea of buying incomplete games, so when they see a season pass, they just say, oh, okay, let me grab this so that I have a complete game. Especially in this uh, day and age where preservation is important, you gotta make sure you get all the files uh, on so that you can, like, archive it in the future while the game uh, becomes obsolete, so that's why many people are opting for season passes, so... It's still not going to show uh, truly how many people want a Rayman game. And uh, why wouldn't they just do something else aside from this? Come on, imagine if they were epic uh, and uh, if they first announced this DLC. And then, just at the end, like some sort of music, something at least to say that something new Rayman is being made. There are many things they could have done it. Now, some people are going to say, uh, Rayman 4, it's not a time for that. And okay, if you don't think that it's time for Rayman 4, first of all, I don't know when you think that is time, because uh, Murphy has been saying, see Rayman 4 since forever, basically. And uh, not forever as Rayman came, of course, but uh, since like the time passing. Uh, but uh, if you don't think that, 
Ubisoft had different approaches. They could have announced HD remasters or remakes of the games. Like, imagine Rayman 1 in, a, like, a, a full HD sprites, clean 2D, but not like in uh, Rayman Origins art style, just that it looks like Rayman 1, like that Rayman looks uh, younger than uh, usual, uh, and like all the enemies, in, like the same aesthetic, just just like redrawn in uh, HD. That would be amazing announcement. Something uh, like that needs to happen, in my opinion. And then while they're at it, they can just do a, a sort of like a remake of... Uh, well, Rayman 2 already had a remake, like Rayman Revolution, so... Uh, they could have done. A, they could have announced Rayman One a, a complete remake. They could have announced Rayman Revolution a HD remastered port for uh, modern systems. They could have done the same for Rayman Three. Heck, for some goddamn reason, Rayman games are even missing on Steam. Like they're on GOG, which is awesome, but they're not even on Steam. So. And they could have do it like on Steam, on a, on Nintendo Switch, on a PlayStation Network, on a, on Microsoft Store, like you know all those uh, or, or like online storefronts. That would be a a, a good uh, thing uh, to also announce with Raymond, so that the fans can be hyped. Solely focusing on this DLC uh, for uh, a Mario Plus Rabbits game, uh, it is, uh, in my opinion, simply not enough because. Uh, while uh, I'm not criticizing, and I'm saying it once again, don't take it me wrong. It's good that he's in this game. Rayman needs appearances in other games so that he can uh, uh, have like this, uh, um, how to say, reputation as a classic uh, mascot. And he's so I'm always in for putting Rayman in a third uh, party games, unrelated games uh, as a guest character. That is good. I want. I like that. However, the main problem comes from the fact that they only done that. They haven't to do any sort of uh, announcement uh, outside of this DLC, and this is where a disappointment uh, comes in. And um, like, uh, just uh, uh, just uh, think about it like this. Now, if people for some reason don't buy this DLC as much as Ubisoft expected. Ubisoft is going to say, ah, the people don't want Rayman, let's not do anything with him anymore. We tried, they didn't want it. But uh, other than that, now the people are going to feel like it's their obligation to buy this DLC if they're simply Rayman fans. Now, uh, for example, let's think like this. What if I had no intention of buying this game? What if I wasn't interested in this uh, Mario Plus Rabbids game whatsoever? But now when I see a Rayman DLC... Uh, I feel uh, like I'm obligated to uh, buy it in order uh, to support the character. But then again, I also don't like the idea of uh, of uh, doing this consuming uh, uh, sort of thing, like that I have to do this uh, because the company expects me to do it in order to support the character. That's just not how I am as a person. I like to I like to buy what I am interested in, not something just because of some character. So. This situation creates uh, an in internal conflict for me. What am I supposed to do as a, as a Rayman fan and as someone who, uh, who I have to say honestly, had no intention of picking up this game whatsoever? So this creates a very, very conflicting situation for me. And uh, this is why I'm not so excited overall. Uh, and on a side note, the, the preview model they showed for Rayman... Uh, doesn't look so impressive for me. I still think Rayman 3 is uh, like a peak model for uh, Rayman in 3D. Like, like they just they should just use that uh, model, just enhance it a little bit, add maybe some more details, something a little like tweaks, but keep it as like that. But uh, uh, I have a feeling they are using this uh, sort of model, which they also made for. Smash Bros, which ended up not being used, like, like which was like a trophy in the end, which they sent to Sakurai for free. So, not so fond of this uh, uh, 3D Rayman style, but uh, that's that's the least of the problem. I don't care much about it. The thing is, Ubisoft made a huge uh, mistake in just announcing this DLC. 
Uh, Activision was smarter because they announced both Crash in Skylanders Imaginator, Imaginators and also teased the uh, uh, HD remakes. And plus, they showed a full gameplay back then how Crash plays in the game, while Ubisoft didn't even show a full face of Rayman on this teaser trailer. I just don't like these approaches. I think they're making a big mistake. And I think this is sadly heading in the same direction as... Uh, as earlier, it always they do, and which means that it's gonna have some problem with sales because uh, Ubisoft sadly has a horrible track record when it comes to just planning uh, releasing Rayman games and content. They just uh, make so much illogical uh, decisions that I, I, I just can't wrap my head around. For example, uh, when they were doing uh, Rayman Legends, they first announced it as the Wii U exclusive, then they changed their mind when they see that the Wii U isn't selling as much as they expected. Then they, uh, when the game was finished, they uh, decided to delay the game in order to release it simultaneously on, another, on also other platforms, which backstabbed the people who bought the Wii U just for that game. Uh, I, I don't mind, of course, I'm always uh, pro-multi-platform, but uh, if they promised, uh, like, a time exclusive, they should at least uh, own up to that and later release the other versions when they're ready. No need to uh, gatekeep uh, one version just in order to port the other ones. And overall, they released the game at the same time when GDA 5 was released, so, of course, the game stood no chance, and it's not selling well, and uh, just uh, failed overall. I mean, it, it sold... Uh, Decent, but not something spectacular. Like, like it, like it didn't met the expectations, which made uh, the next the 3D Rayman game they planned cancelled. Then they just went on mobile, and now they're returning it as this uh, DLC. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, I think that the first Mario Plus Rabbit sold like 7.5 million copies or something, which is uh, probably a number that Ubisoft likes. So they're hoping to sell also this game very well, which, which probably will, because it, it has Mario in it. So I, I think uh, many Nintendo fans are just going to buy it for Mario alone. Uh, and uh, But I still think it's unfair to Rayman fans to do it like that. So I'm sorry, I'm just not excited about... I'm also not angry, I'm just disappointed. And uh, I think uh, Ubisoft uh, needs to announce uh, something else with Rayman soon. Uh, I still suggest them the easiest thing they can do is uh, uh, do uh, Rayman 1 uh, HD remake and uh, porting Rayman Revolution and Rayman 3 on uh, modern systems. Or at least even if they even if they don't want to use the resources for Rayman 1 HD remake, they can at very least take Rayman Revolution and Rayman 3 and port it on Switch. Uh, PS4, 5, uh, and uh, Xbox uh, One and Xbox Series X, and also freaking Steam release, uh, finally. But but yeah, just a, just a mere port would uh, uh, satisfy my appetites, because uh, especially for Rayman Revolution, I would just love to play that game natively on PC. Yes, people are gonna say there is emulator, you can emulate the game perfectly, but um, I don't know, just there is some satisfaction when I have, if I just know I'm playing something natively, it's just something inside of me, like I feel, like I feel it's fully appropriate, like, oh, I'm playing it on the right platform. It, it's just some feeling uh, inside, and uh, that's why, I, for example, love Jack and Dexter uh, project uh, decompilation, because it, it made the best version of Jack and Dexter possible to exist, and... Uh, Either Ubisoft makes Rayman Revolution uh, uh, HD remaster, or somebody should do a, a decompilation project for Rayman Revolution to to allow a native PC port. But uh, that's that will of course still classify as a fan uh, creation. I'm talking about here what Ubisoft themselves should do. And heck, I have a feeling they just uh, did this DLC in order to just say, "Hey, we are still using Rayman for something," because. Uh, if they don't use uh, Rayman for some period, uh, they can risk losing a uh, trademark. Then don't, do not confuse it with copyright, which lasts over 70 years after someone dies. I'm just talking here about the trademark, which would then be a pain in the ass to renew. So I'm, I, I'm also betting uh, on one part, they just did it 
in order to not lose the trademark and to not have a hassle to renew it later on again. So, hope you guys enjoyed with my thoughts video. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you like this? Do you hate this? Are you excited? Are you not? Share all your thoughts. All kinds of comments are welcome here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and see ya.